Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Miss Miller and this is Carly. And today we are doing our fourth science experiment, which is making a lava lamp. As always, there will be a file on teams that you can print out and use along with this experiment. Or of course, you can just try out the experiment at home and discuss the results and discuss what you find is absolutely up to you. So there are four ingredients that you're going to need for today's experiment. You'll most likely have all of them around the house already. The first one is some kind of a vegetable oil. So we've got sunflower oil here. The next one is nice and simple. It is water. Water. Then you're going to need a little bit of food colouring, probably about 10 drops worth. So which colour have we gone for today? We chose red. You've gone for red. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing you're going to need is some kind of an effervescent or fizzy tablet. So we've got vitamin C tablets here that we had in the house, but you could also use something like an aspirin. But of course, if you're using an aspirin or even vitamin C tablets, please be careful. Work with an adult, do not put them in your mouth, do not swallow them because it's very dangerous. So as always, be safe when you're doing this. So this is the tube here and this is what one of the tablets look like and we've broken them into little bits for the experiment. The other thing you're going to need is something to create your lava lamp inside. So we're going to just use this coffee cup because it's clear glass and it's easy to record through to let you see what's happening. If you don't have a cup like that, you could use a wine glass or you could even just use a clear plastic bottle like this. However, if you're using something that has a narrow top, then what you'll probably need is a funnel just to help you put the liquids inside without spilling it because it's really hard to pour. The first thing you want to do is get your water and pour it into the glass. So for this glass, we're going to use about 150 millilitres of water. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can just judge it yourself. Okay? Then, from there, you need to add your oil and you want to add it quite slowly and carefully until the glass is full, full up, more or less full up. Oh, that looks cool. The bubbles are rising. That looks really cool. So depending on how you poured that, you might need to wait a minute or two for the water and the oil to separate fully. So try not to bang the table. Or... Yeah. The next thing you want to do is add your food colouring. We've chosen a nice red one and you want about 10 drops of this food colouring. This one's not got a dropper oh. so just pour a blob. Okay, maybe a tiny bit more. Okay, that'll do. As you can see, the food colouring has sunk through the oil and down through the water and is now sitting at the bottom of the glass. So the next thing you're going to do is where the fun begins and it's to add one of your fizzy effervescent tablets. So currently, and everybody at home, what do you think is going to happen when we put a piece of a tablet into this? It'll be like moving about. What'll move? Like the colours and stuff. And all it's also good to have a think about why it is that you've got the oil, the water and then the food colouring. Think just now about why it is that these have all gone into different layers. Why are some at the top? Why is the water here and why has the food colour mostly sank to the bottom? So the next step is to take a piece of one of your tablets, so you pick one up Carly, and in a minute what you're going to do is you're going to place it in the oil, and what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's just going to burst into bubbles there? No, it's going to sink. It is, it is. so you have to wait and watch it and it should start to sink to the bottom of the cup or your bottle and that is when the magic is going to happen. Okay. Oh, that's going to go. Oh, bubbles are coming to the top. 
while you watch the effect, I'll explain why the oil and the water stay separate. The oil is lighter than the water. Scientifically speaking, it's less dense than the water. The oil and water don't mix because of a very special thing called intermolecular polarity. It basically means that water molecules are attracted to other water molecules, so they get along fine and they join together to make drops. Oil molecules are attracted to the other oil molecules, but the structures of the two molecules don't allow them to bond together, which means the oil and the water can't form together to make drops. There's a lot more to it than that, but it'll help you get an understanding of why the two liquids stay separate. We decided to try changing a few of the variables to see what would happen. So this time what we've got is slightly warmer water, less water, more oil and a smaller glass. When you added the piece of tablet, it sank to the bottom. As it began to dissolve, it created a gas. The gas has to float to the top because it's lighter. And as the gas bubbles rise, they lift some of the coloured water with them. The blob of water travels through the oil, but when it reaches the top, the gas escapes. And the water, heavier again, falls back down through the oil. So I hope you had fun today making that experiment. Please, if you try it, take some videos or some photographs. You can either get an adult to post on Twitter or get in touch on Teams and let us know how your experiment went. Let us know what kind of things you changed up, what variables you changed, whether it was the size of your glass, what else could you change? How much oil, how much water, how much food colouring, yep, the, how much tablet. Uh -huh, how much effervescent fizzy tablet you put in. You could also change the temperature of the water. Like really it. warm or really cold. Yep, you could try it really warm, really cold. If you made your experiment, your mixture up in a plastic bottle, you can actually put the lid on it and keep it with the oil, the water and the food colouring in there. And if you want to make the experiment work again, all you have to do is add another fizzy tablet. But please do not drink it, do not taste it, do not eat it. Not only is it not good for you, but it will be absolutely disgusting. So I hope you've enjoyed that experiment today. I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, that was really fun. It was lots of good fun. And I look forward to hearing back from you and see how you got on with yours. As always, stay at home, stay safe, take care. And hopefully we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.